one today, five to one. That was the third game of a three game set. They took one out of three against the Pittsburgh Pirates, so not not what we were looking for to be honest. Uh, at least two was what I was hoping for, but today was a great game, really fun to watch. Uh, we can get right into the box score. Uh, one for five for Badu. He had a single in the third, so quiet game, but not at least he some production at least, not like a useless game. So scope 0 for four, but a walk and a run. So also just like Badu's uh, game, just something average. Uh, Grossman, great game, four for five with three runs and a home run. What a game. I mean, we had two players get four hits. Uh, Grossman had a single in the first, a single in the third, a single in the fifth, and then a home run in the seventh, and then he struck out in the ninth. So a great game from Grossman, and I'm really hoping uh, he can keep this hot streak going because he blew me away this series. He played really well the entire three-game set, but... Yeah, let's hope he can do that next series as well. Now, uh, Miguel, four for four. Wow, that this was so cool to see today. Uh, double, single, single, and single. But these were all, like, clutch hits. Uh, RBIs, RBIs, RBIs for the first three, and then the next one was just a normal single. But he pretty much won us this game single-handedly. He came through with two outs uh, twice. The only one, the RBI, was on one out, so... He came in clutch twice at least. I mean, that was just a great game for Miguel. Uh, Candelario one for four with an RBI. Pretty good game. He had a single that scored uh, Grossman in the fifth. And then Harold Castro one for four. Uh, pretty good day as well. He also had a single, but he had a double play in the fifth. So that was kind of a rally killer because we had a really good fifth inning. But, yeah, we scored two runs that inning. Uh, Victor Reyes, one for three. Pretty decent game as well. He had a walk and a single center. So there's a lot of singles today. So there's a lot of contact. Uh, Garno, 0 for four. That sucks. He was one of my secret home run players. He didn't look like he was tracking the ball well today. He was looking at a lot of strikes and just watching him go right that, down the middle. And his at-bats weren't as uh, good as they used to be. So I'm hoping he was just a little bit of a product of not playing recently. But... Since he'll be uh, probably playing one game in the next series, we can uh, see how he does. But I think my my uh, other prediction today was Harold Castro, and he went one for four, so decent one. And I think Candelario was too, also one for four. Uh, Willie Castro had a pinch hit, and Matt Manning and Drew Hutchinson batted. Uh, Matt Manning, I believe he yeah he struck out. Willie Castro grounded out, and Hutchinson grounded out. Uh, Nico Goodrum also had a pinch hit. He grounded out as well. So pretty similar things with our pitchers and pinch hitters. Uh, for pitching, we just gave up one earned run for Matt Manning. He did three innings, four hits, four strikeouts. Uh, he would have gone longer, but he got injured. A comebacker to end the third hit him in the, I believe it was the left thigh or like the left ankle. Some, he had some sort of contusion on his leg. And it looked like it hurt him pretty bad, and Garneau actually made a great play after it bounced off Manning to grab it and throw it off the first. So, I mean, hopefully we can recognize Garneau's good defense there, but I hope, I'm hoping Matt's going to be okay. He doesn't have to send him down for about 10 to 15 days, if I'm guessing, but uh, we, we could really use Matt these next couple weeks just to end the season strong because we're lacking starters with Turnbull gone. And with Mize and Scoople being on uh, innings limits, so I'm really hoping Matt's bats are back sooner than like 10 or 15 days at least. Uh, Drew Hutchinson looked great today, two innings. I I was pretty surprised that we used him the way I wanted him to. I wanted him to come in like exactly like this, pitching like the third, fourth, or fifth inning. I didn't want him starting games, so this was perfect in my opinion. Derek Collin, one inning, one hit. Pretty good. Jose Urania got three ground balls, so also a good inning. Fulmer, uh, flawless inning, and Soto, pretty good inning. Like This was just a really well-pitched game from our side, and it wasn't really a competitive game at all. They scored in the second, and then they didn't do anything else pretty much all game. They didn't really threaten, as you can see here, each inning. They didn't get more than one base runner, except for uh, the first three, so that's impressive. 
Uh, go over my Pittsburgh predictions. I predicted Newman, which he did pretty well, two for three with an RBI. Then he also did Tasugo, which was one for four, so that was all right. Keller did exactly how I expected, and I talked in the pregame. There was a lot of fastballs, so I knew we were going to get a lot of hits. I thought we were going to walk a lot more than we did. Only two walks today, and he only did one himself. So with 10 hits, four in runs, that was expected. I also expected the other ty uh, Pirates pitchers to do that too, but they didn't. So uh, We have a off day tomorrow. So I'm going to do a progression video, and then we have the Rays coming in, and then the Brewers. So I'll be back tomorrow for a pregame for the Rays game. And yeah, this is a good series. Really wish we could have done a little bit better, but hey, we'll take one win at the end.